relates to the issue of democratization is, is, is much more complicated. Is it possible that he is probably putting forward that agenda because that is the only way that Malas can remain at the top given the architecture in the country? Is that possible? Um, I think the, 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 there are two issues there. There's one issue is how he prevailed internally within EPRDF and TPLF during the, the internal crisis of, of 2000-2001. And, and the second is, 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 is how the reconstituted EPRDF leadership, which emerged from that, remained in, 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 in control of Ethiopia, especially after the crisis of, of, of 2005. And, and I, wouldn't personal, I wouldn't personalize it quite in that way, because he, I mean, he, yes, he was, he, he, you know, he, he was in charge of Ethiopia. He was not a dictator in the sense of Omar al-Bashir or, 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 or Mangistu. It's, it's, it's a very different form of, 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 of authoritarian and, and, and centralized control. Um, because he has an agenda. He is setting an agenda, not just pursuing power for its own sake. He is not a dictator, not even post TPLF. No, I mean, the, the terms are misleading. Okay. Uh -huh. Normally, when you talk about a dictator, a dictator is someone who seeks power for its own sake. Okay. Malus obviously wanted power for himself and his party, but he also wanted, he had an agenda, he had an agenda to transform Ethiopia. Now, you may agree or disagree with that, but that puts him separate from those who are simply in power because they want power. That is a difference, and that is the difference, and it is an important difference. Opulente, what do you make of that? Well, I... Uh during the struggle, we used to contrast the TPLF with the EPLF. In the EPLF, the top leader had already emerged as the most decisive person very early. And in the TPLF, the Politburo was a collegiate body. They debated issues exhaustively. They could run marathon meetings. It was a meeting of equals. They were about the same age. They're roughly from the same elementary school. And uh, until the uh, internal crisis. After that, I met one of them, one of those who lost, and asked him, explain to him that we always felt and admired the collegiate kind of leadership that the TPLF leaders had. And now, after you guys have been expelled, what does it look like? His answer was very simple. Deliberations in the TPLF Politburo now look like a teacher lecturing a group of pupils. I think that did emerge. Now, uh, Power for what? Alex says not for its own sake. Malas loved the power, no question about it. And he did not like people disagreeing with him publicly. He could disagree with you, debate with you privately. But in public, you have to throw the line. Whether you call that dictatorship or not, that is your dictionary that will solve that. Okay. Let me, um, because I'm going to have to go very shortly, let me just come back on, on, on that point. There definitely was a transition. And there was a collegiate leadership until 2000, 2001. And, I mean, one of the things that, that, that was very striking during the, the, you know, the second period after that, when I continued to meet with Malice, was that he would debate with people like me, with outsiders. He would not have those debates with Ethiopians. And, and, and his interaction with Ethiopians was uh, exactly as you say, the way he would, he would engage with the cabinet was, was as a teacher in front of a classroom. And I think that was, um, uh, that was unfortunate. Um, yes, he loved power. Um, he, but he didn't have the, you know, he didn't have personal wealth. Yes, I mean, yes he wasn't poor, but he, he lived in a pretty undesirable, rather drab, you know, building. He wasn't. He wasn't one of these. You know, these leaders who has a dozen Porsches or Mercedes and so on. 
so he had he his his personal lifestyle was still fairly fairly straightforward. The and 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 I think the 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 reward he personally got from power was was being able to see Ethiopia change, and 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 he really did believe in in that. Now there, there are many things we one can disagree with him, both tactically and 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 and, and, and strategically, but he was not. He was not a corrupt leader. He was not someone who amassed personal wealth and saw himself as more important than um, the, um, than, than the country. But he was surrounded by very corrupt officials. I, I don't think he. I don't think he did not. He was not aware of that fact. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I must say farewell. Um, I've, I've really in, in, in enjoyed this discussion, and I'm sure you will you, um, you will continue without me. And I hope we will have a chance to continue on another occasion. Thanks very much, Alex. Um, bye. Okay. For joining us, appreciate it. Greetings to Trump. For <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I will be. I don't think I will be meeting him. But uh, okay. Bye. Thank you. Tetanemiti nutis asam ayat apa ni om? Hint apa nama? Malas ni fakat. Jurang nama saya di barat demiti. Iya. Ama to kopi galut tu jira. Okay. Atau asma tiad apa ni? Bereda. I just. I have to apologize to our uh, viewers. Uh, we have some technical difficulties and we weren't able to get to uh, the issues that I wanted to raise. Uh, and also Professor Duval uh, had to go at seven o'clock. Uh, so unfortunately we, we weren't able to get uh, into uh, the details of some of the most contentious issues that, uh, that I wanted to uh, discuss. Um, but hopefully we'll come back to this at at a different time with uh, with other guests. Uh, I want to thank you, Bolejo, for uh, taking your time and, and, and joining us uh, for this program. Uh, thanks very much. It's a pleasure.